Hey guys, this is your captain speaking. Welcome back to a spooky October episode. Um, seems we found ourselves in the SCP Foundation. Um, this is a game I've actually been wanting to play for a while. We'll call this, uh, uh, Badoop. This game is Badoop. <clears throat> Uh, but this is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. It's an old game. Uh, but this was, like, a game played in the early days of YouTube. Um, and one that I really enjoy. Uh, and I'll explain as we go. Let me just set this up real quick. Saving is only allowed at specific locations. Um, let's do that, just because I have played a little bit, but not a whole bunch. And I've never beaten the game. Uh, so basically, the SCP Foundation is a a fake foundation and it's a forum on the online where people make up um fake story documents or are they fake we'll never know but uh there there are story documents and all of them are scps labeled like the scp 500 here on the screen uh and basically the way it works is uh it's a scary story-esque type thing as given in the way of a a file document uh explaining like what before i go because i know as soon as i go it's going to start talking but it, it explains what the scp is how to contain it properly and uh what it does and why it's dangerous or isn't dangerous or something but all of them are anomalous things and, and are weird so for instance there's one that's a uh a, well actually we'll, we'll see here in a second i'm not going to spoil anything um but yeah no it's a really interesting like concept it's really cool there's a lot of lore so if you want to go look at it look it up it's it's really interesting some of them some of them are really creepy um but this is a game based around like the foundation and it getting destroyed uh so i'm a d-class personnel which is a person who's on death row typically who's been brought here to be uh used as a test subject uh, we'll read here i believe yeah on behalf of the scp foundation our staff we welcome you to an exciting one month working period in one of our top secret research facilities unfortunately the exact details of your upcoming work assignment are highly classified but please read the document carefully to make your stay as safe and pleasant as possible each they've got some work for you do me a favor and step out of your cell give me give me one second i'm reading this each of the class d personnel has been given a numerical stupid or something i said step out of the cell hold on one second cell, i'm gonna kick your ass wait will you actually kill me i don't think you actually kill me huh i'm actually kind of disappointed you didn't put up a fight i was looking forward to punching you in the face wait wait what's happening are they gassing me oh my gosh <laughs> all right I don't know what actually happened there. I was trying to read the document. <laughs> well, that was quick. Good game, guys. Mm. Oh, man. That's... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. All right. Well, that didn't last long. But, yeah, no, the SCP Foundation is pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool thing, and I like it. And this game is really fun and scary. Um, it's, it's not a jump scare horror game i mean it kind of is a little bit sometimes but not often it's typically like survive it's survival horror your goal is to escape but yeah, as i was saying d-class basically are death row people that have been brought here to test and typically they die um but we're a special one and um because well we're the player and obviously the player doesn't die i mean that last thing that just happened wasn't true each of the class d personnel has been given a numerical designation your personal designa designation is D9341. Please memorize your designation as the staff will use it to refer to you from now on. During your stay, you will be taking part in various test procedures. Some of them can be extremely dangerous if appropriate precautions are not taken. This is why we need you your full cooperation at all times, blah, 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 if everything goes as planned. Okay, I'll read this more later. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Okay, I won't, but I mean, I want to. We gonna Attention. go for a run? Inspection team Sierra. Please report to. I gotta say, this is gate a lot better 14. made than it like was back when I played, though. Decontamination. Like way better made. Like this is nice. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? Nope. Well, I'm nope. Nope. You. You don't know my outside life. Hey, look. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to this guy. Look, there's another D-class. Yeah, we wear these bright orange jumpsuits. 
I wonder if, what happens if I run ahead of this guy. You know, I'm gonna do it. I didn't get to punch you in the face, but whatever. Oh, and by the way. Oh, thanks. What is that? Oh, this is the SCP we're about to go into. Okay, so the object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken. It's a statue, right? Yeah. So SCP-173 is a statue. And as long as we're looking at it, it can't move. But if we blink, it has it can move. So these are other Class D that are stuck in here with me. They locked us in here. Okay. Please approach SCP-173 for testing. Oh, well, that guy. Yeah, I don't like this either. Oh, we're, oh no. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, hey. Watch your language. You're about to die, but you don't need to be getting me in trouble. Wait, was that some guy running? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not. Let's just close that. I don't want to. Oh, I can't close that. Okay, let's just run then. I think running is in our best interest. Can I open the door? Oh, I have to click. Do I have to go down here? No way. They wouldn't make me go down there, would they? I think they're going to make me go down here. Okay. Is there anything here to help me? How do I get out of this room? Did I? Hold on one second. I, okay, I know I'm supposed to be running away. There's a file here. So by the way, down there, while the screen keeps going black, it's because I'm blinking. It's one of the mechanics in this game. Okay, I can't pick up that file. I thought I might be able to, but I guess not. Okay, so it looks like there's been a... Oh, hey. It looks like there's a huge outbreak going on of all the SCPs. Um, so we're just going to need to run. We need to run and not die. Whoa, oh, okay, hi. All right, that guy's dead. That guy is very dead. Oh, okay, so these are not on. Okay, it's not on. That's weird. That's a, a electrocution zone type thing. So basically, like, if I walk through that, uh, it will it will turn on electricity, and I think it's to help stop people easier and stop invasions and stuff. Why did that door just disappear? What the heck? Um. Also, uh. I feel like I'm missing something. Also, let's finish reading this one. So basically, uh, origin as yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete. So yeah, yeah, it's a statue, but it's a live, living statue. Um, so that's good to know, you know. Okay, these aren't on yet. Oh, I went in a circle. Good to know. All right, I'm just gonna get lost here, apparently. Okay. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. You know, just walking past all the dead bodies. Oh, cool. Okay, so here's another SCP. 1123. What is this one? Don't touch. Okay, good to know. What was that? Do you guys hear that? Okay, well that was fine. When a subject approaches 1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomena, including smells such as cooking meat or ashes. Ugh. When subject touches the surface, they will experience a dissociative fugue state. Okay, so I don't want to touch that thing. Uh, that's what I'm getting here. I'm gonna need that gas mask. Uh, it's gonna allow me to, oh, here's a safe point. Ooh, what is okay yeah there's also lore all in these things uh nice sight i got lost four times just trying to find the main security hub what is uh what the heck is this is with this place i tried to warn you it was a modular design theory command cooked up uh oh gosh well i my reading is off today i'm sorry to anyone listening uh set sections installed as needed and where needed oh whoops daisy uh, it was supposed to make expansion recovery a lot easier, but it didn't really catch on. You'll get lost a couple times, but you figure it out. Okay, interesting. Interesting, but not helpful. 
Let's see. I know for a fact that someone's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. Okay, there's an elevator. Does this guy have anything on him? Nope, he's just dead. Good to know! Okay, so yeah, another thing I need to tell you. You'd think, so they're, eventually they're gonna send in what's called the Nine-Tailed Fox, which is a group of people designed, or not designed, but trained to deal with these sorts of things. Oh gosh, okay, well I'm not gonna mess with that door then. Um, basically, who just died? Oh, what the heck? Oh no! What just happened? Am I okay? Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so I just fell into the trap. This is a, uh... A dangerous place. Oh, did I just... What happened? Where am I? Okay, so basically, this is 106's realm. He's... He, uh, you haven't... We haven't met him yet. You haven't seen him. Uh, but he is a terrifying creature. I don't know where I'm going. Was that him? I can't see. I can't see a thing. Oh, I died? Achievement unlocked No Man's Land. Oh, I can't see. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, at least I'm not hurt. That's good. And I've got a bunch of stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I, you know, I really... That, I didn't want that to be what happened to me, but, you know, it happened, and now I'm wherever I am. This looks like a maintenance area or something. But yeah, no, 106 is like a, a slow-walking... Um, well, he's dangerous. Uh, he's like a... I don't know how to explain it. A degrading husk, almost. Uh, that can bring things into his own little pocket dimension. He can walk through things with the pocket dimension. Oh, man. Hey, it's the duck! So this is a joke SCP. Look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, like, fanboy of the SCP series. I think it's interesting. I'm trying to open that door. It won't work. Oh, my gosh! Oh... Okay, and that's why you always check the doors, and you always make sure you've got, like, enough blinky to, like, not- No, be quiet. Okay. I'm glad that I could almost die. Place your palm onto the scanner, the scanner DNA does not match. Okay, so I can't go through there. But I can go through here, the this, this stairs. I don't know where I'm going, by the way, guys. I am- Severely lost. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up dying. I wouldn't even doubt it. Man, my stamina's horrible. I'm gonna open this door. What is this room? What is this? What is going on? Oh, this is for 692? Is this his containment cell? Or something? Oh gosh, I need a gas mask, don't I? Okay, so this is 682's containment cell, I guess. That's good to know. Um, it's also... Oh gosh, sorry. I, I'm just trying to run for my life here, because, like... I don't know what just happened, honestly. I guess that's his containment cell. Which, if that's the case, I mean, it makes sense why it's so heavily guarded with gas and stuff. 682 is a giant lizard, for those who don't know, who, like, <clears throat> very easily, um, how do I put this? He's basically indestructible. Like, literally, they've tried even sending him to other dimensions, like, to get rid of him, and he just comes back. Like, he's crazy. It's really, he's really cool, but like, crazy, and he's super intelligent too, and he's a giant lizard. He's like Godzilla on steroids. Oh my gosh, I closed my door. I don't like that sound. Let me guess, this is exactly where I just came from, isn't it? Oh, no it's not. I don't, I don't know where this is, actually. Oh. <gasps> What do I feel breathing next to me? Can't carry any more items. Um, I don't need this class D orientation anymore. Cannot carry any more items. I what? I don't want to pick that up. 
come on. What is breathing next to me? Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about what's breathing next to me. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not gonna worry about the breathing thing right next to me. I've got... I've got better things to do than worry about that right now. What is this? Oh, the coffin. Okay, we don't want to be in the coffin. Okay, so the coffin, basically, if you stare at something... Oh, I knew it. I knew that was... Oh, wait, 966. Actually, I don't know what that is. It's sentient and violent, though, so I need to be careful. This probably wasn't breathing down my neck, which is not a good sign, because honestly, for all I know, I just got infected with something, and I'm probably going to die soon. Oh, my gosh. Somebody let me out of here. I don't want to die today. So eventually I'm going to need to find something that allows me to upgrade my key card because my key card is horrible or just find a better one. What if I use this med kit? Will this help me at all? It's going to take me a second. Hurry up and bandage your leg. Oh, there we go. Now I'm faster. The elevator has been broken. Oh, this feels much nicer. Also, I'm just going in loops, but you know, whatever. Okay, so there's gotta be a way, like, out of here or something. Okay, not that way. Oh, you know where it is? It's over where he was. I don't know if he's still there, though. Okay, I don't see him. That doesn't mean he isn't here, though. I mean, I guess it kind of does mean that. Oh, gosh. I, like, it's just nerve-wracking going through these rooms. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, you never know when you're going to run into one of the SCPs. SCP-049. Oh, no. Oh, no, even more. Did you hear that grinding? That's, that's, that is 173. And this is even worse. This is 049. I don't really have anything good for that, though, right now. Oh, man. Well, I can try. Oh, man. Okay, guys. This is going to get really scary. Because... Well, not scary, I guess. It probably doesn't scare other people, but, like... Oh, gosh. Do I got to use this? Looks like the power is out down here. I need to put a new battery in this thing. Okay, so... So, 049 is a... Well, he's a, um... He's like the, a plague doctor. He looks like a plague doctor. Um, and he tries to cure people of what he calls the plague. I mean, obviously. But the problem is, is the plague seems to be life itself because he kills people and then he reanimates them as zombies. Okay, um... Let's see how much I can find without waking these guys up. I don't know, or I don't even know. Maybe they're just dead because they're not moving. So I, I guess I'm probably okay. I need a clipboard. See, I told you, I've played this thing before, so, like, I kind of know, like, what I need in certain things, but I don't know everything. Oh, level four. We can just drop that level three. We don't need that anymore. What's this? Oh, another 049. Do I have two of those now? Sector 02 scheme. Oh, this is the room scheme. Okay, the room layout. Oh, this is his room. Okay, I need to... I don't know if he's down here. If he is, I need to be really cautious. I'm honestly really... A little worried right now just because I don't know what's coming I've seen like Markiplier Blue do this area because like I I've watched him play this game too um, in fact I think that's how I got into this game in the first place um, did I get it I did everything's back on oh no oh crap Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Oh, the old bait and switch. I feel like there was something else I need to turn on here. Whatever this thing is. The generator. Ele oh, elevator. This is the elevator. I need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that. I really need that. Okay. Gotta get out of here. I swear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! 
Oh no! No, 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 no! No, they've hurt me! Oh no, I can't run very fast! Oh, this is not good. Because he's actually pretty quick. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, I'm so screwed. Because he can open doors. Oh no! Oh no, please! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I am very dead. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, there I am. Oh. I came back as a zombie. A bullet hit your leg. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know, game. Alright, well, that's a good place to end. I have a save point, so we can come back. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope it could bring a little bit of a smile to your face. Uh, man, this this game, this is bringing back memories. Um, but yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you all next time. Have a spooktacular October, guys. This is your captain, signing off.